Welcome everyone to another diecast review from Cars 2. And this diecast review is on Vladimir Chonkov, another lemon from Cars 2. And as you know, um, Vladimir Chonkov is the leader of the Chonkov family. And he is one of the many bad guys in Cars 2, one of the lemons who works for Professor C, and yeah. Now in Cars 2, Vladimir Chonkov ap appeared in the movie, and he was first seen in the port of course meeting, and he was also seen in the London race and in the London fight scene, and the last time we see him is when um, he tries to fight the Rage Springs Townies, and he tried, but after Luigi and Guido came and Guido removed the two black gremlins tires, we see Vladimir Chonkov trying to attack Flo, but Flo actually lights up her headlights and it blinds Vladimir Chonkov and Sheriff put an impound boot on him. And that's the last time we ever seen him. And also, Vladimir Chonkov did have another version that was released. It was the one with the impound boot. And it was released in 2017 as a new release in the London Chase series. And he was called Vladimir Chonkov with car boot. And he had a different expression. And he had a impound boot on that tire and if you know about Cars 1 diecast so much you may remember that in 2009 in the Race of Rama collection they had five cars with impound boots they were Boost, Snot Rod, Wingo, DJ, and Light McQueen and all of them were chases and also, fun fact, Raw Torque Redline damage version with the two boots was originally going to be released as a diecast in 2011-2012, but it got cancelled, unfortunately, which he is seen on the character encyclopedia book, and it's the one that came with Metallic Hudson Hornet Pissing Cup McQueen. And he was there and he was never released. Now, who knows what he could have been released? Maybe in like a five pack w with like, um, Graham, Acer, and Professor E, and some other lemon, or it could be like a four pack. Who knows what in the multi pack. Or if he could have been in the two pack, it, what it could look like. Like I'm not sure if Damage Rod with the two boots was to be released in like a multi pack or in like a two pack. Not sure what it could have been, but hopefully that version of Rod will be uncancelled. It would be really cool if they did that. And they can, like, I would like to see Damage Rod being re-released as well, and the regular one as well. Yeah, Raw Torque Redline is very rare right now. Hopefully he'll be get a re-release soon, because he's only been released in 2011-2012. Also, they haven't released mm, Raw Torque Redline this guy as a gremlin, and... In Cars 2, the video game, Rod Redline Undercover was a DLC character in the Secret Agents bundle. And it would be really cool if he was really such a diecast. Like, they can call it Rod Torque Redline Undercover or Rod Torque Redline as Gremlin or, or whatever name they can think of. And yeah. But anyway, it's about Vladimir Chonkov. His diecast releases 
He was first released in 2011-2012, just like Victor Hugo. Both of them were released in the same this, that year for the first time. And then Vladimir Chonkov was released in, a year later in... And, and, and Vladimir Chonkov was also released in 2013 and 2014 in the Lemon series. And he took a break for 2015 and then was re-released again in 2016 in the Oil Rig Getaway series. Although it does not make any sense to me because he never appeared in the Oil Rig. But okay. And yeah, that's pretty much it for Vladimir Chonkov's re releases. He has quite a lot, because for J. Kirby Gremlin, he only has one release. But for Vladimir and Victor Hugo, they've been released a lot of times. And, yeah. And that is pretty much it for Vladimir Chonkov's diecast releases for the history and all that. Now let's get on to the diecast. As you can see, he is a trunk off, and he is colored light blue with yellow stripes on the side. And he has yellow rims. All the, and also his uh, impound boot version, which is called Blind Me Trunk Off with car boot. The car boot one has silver hubcaps instead of yellow and the one with car boot had with the silver hubcaps so was actually accurate to the movie that isn't accurate with the yellow hubcaps because if you look at Vladimir's tires in the movie his hubcaps were silver not yellow so that's one mistake they accidentally did but they corrected it on the one with the car boot <laughs> hopefully when Vladimir Chonkov gets a re-release for Made in Thailand they'll give him the silver hubcaps instead of yellow hopefully they'll do that when he gets a re-release I would like to see that and it would be really cool if they add silver hubcaps and make him accurate to the movie there's the orange light right there on the side. Yes, it's the door, the door handle, the windows. There's this window bar. He has a, like a determined, aggressive, angry expression. Although he does have a smile, well, a little bit. And there's his side of the mirror. He only has one. The other, he doesn't have another one. He doesn't have the other one on the side. There's his hood, there's like this, this line and another line right there on this hood. He has a silver bumper, and he has his headlights, and there's his taillights. And as you can see, he does have this right there on the front of him, which is this red thing. And, yeah. Now, the base, he is obviously made in China. Not made in Thailand or Vietnam. And he has this gray bumper on the back. And there's his back window. There's his trunk. There's, like, these lines there. It's almost like a vent or some sort of, some, sort of some kind of grill. But it's not that. And... There is an, like the, that thing there also on the stripe, right there where the yellow is. And he has a license plate, which reads, well, if the camera can focus, there it reads 1971 SMK. And there's also this, which, which reads well if you know what that reads then let me know in the comments below it's actually kill I don't know if it says kill or 
something. Yeah, not really sure what this is saying, but oh well. I mean, if you well, if you know what that reads right there next to the license plate, right between the license plate and the the and then and that and between that tail light as well, then let me know in the comments below what that reads. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the review of Vladimir Tronkov. And Vladimir Tronkov isn't the only Tronkov they made as a diecast. They made two more. Tolga Tronkov and Petrov Tronkov. Now, Petrov Tronkov was released first. He was the first Tronkov release. He was released in 2011 slash 2012. And as for Toga Tronkov, he was released in 2013 in the two-pack with Tubbs Pacer with paint spray. And he was also released in the London Chase series in 2017. And... And in 2013, he was in the Lemon series, by the way. And as you can see, they had the same as that model, but different expression. I mean, these two had angry looking expressions, but Petrov looks like he's scared or something. And as you can see, Petra Tronkov has like dirt and rust detailing, but the other two obviously do not, since they're more like, I guess, newer cars, if you want to say that. Like, and they're more newer. And the back, their license plates are exactly the same. And oh, you can, de I could definitely read that one better on. Toga, what does it read? I don't know, maybe it does read kill. Oh, it's barely there. It's like a little bit more upper on Petrov. Also, another difference about Petrov is that he has gray windows, while the other two have black windows. And that means Petrov's windows are opaque. But these other, but these two windows are uh, like transparent, see-through. Well, kinda. And also, Petro Tronkov has a mop plate, but these two do not. They're unibodies. And yeah. All right. Now that's pretty much it for the comparison. All right. Now let's get the. All the other lemon heads, J. Kirby Gremlin, Ups Pacer, and Victor Hugo. And I reviewed Victor Hugo before, and I will do a review on these two very soon. I'm going to do Tubbs Pacer next, because he's been released more than J. Kirby Gremlin, because J. Kirby Gremlin was only released in 2013. Tubbs was released in 2013, 2014, and 2016. And this paint spray version was released in 2017. And J. Curry Ground was originally going to be released in 2017, the one with the weapon. But it was cancelled, unfortunately. And, yeah. It really sucks the fact that J. Curry Gremlin with Weapon was cancelled. Also, Vladimir Tubbs and J. Kirby all have mm, different versions. Like, they have one each, a different version from the London fight. Vladimir has the one with car boot. Tubbs has the paint spray version. J. Kirby Gremlin was originally have one with Weapon. But for Victor Hugo, because he never pulled out, like, a weapon or anything, or he never got like, his tires off, or he never got, like, paint sprayed, he never get, he, like, he didn't do anything in the London fight, like, he was, he's the only one that didn't leave to see Sarge and this military gang, so, yeah, and that's a fact you, that I know about the movie, and, 
you may know about that fact that Victor Hugo only had one variation because these three had you know, like different versions in the diecast like like yeah all right and this is pretty much it for today's review on this diecast and i'll see you in the next video guys and if you like this video make sure to like subscribe and comment and i'll see you in the next video guys so anyways bye now